This week on Fit Body Warrior TV. What's up guys, welcome to Lapeer Fit Body Bootcamp. This is Scott Jenkins coming at you with a cardio myth. Here to tell you uh, two different ways to really get those booming arms. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Coach Brian and today I'm gonna give you three things you can do to stay focused. What's up guys, welcome to Lapeer Fit Body Bootcamp. This is Scott Jenkins coming at you with a cardio myth. Remember when you're thinking about fat loss, Calories burn doesn't matter. Calories burn doesn't equal fat burn. When you're looking at fat loss, it's always important to try and provide a stimulus to the body to burn and metabolize fat, not burn calories. So during your actual exercise, we're not here to burn fat. We're here to burn, we're here to work and break down the body so that way the rest of the day we're burning fat. That's the main concept of it. So when you're doing cardio, if you have to do cardio and you go out for a run and you run for 12 miles and that takes you an hour and a half. That's an hour and a half of stress that you're putting on your body with less recovery time outside of that. And then you have to eat and rest to provide and get those results. And when you provide too much stress to the body, your cortisol, cortisol levels raise too high and it's actually more difficult to burn that. So when you're thinking about exercise, always maintain the thought of trying to break down the body in a shorter time, putting less stress on the central nervous system more stress on the muscle so you can provide a better stimulus and get a little bit more fat burn out of that. All right guys, I hope this helps out a little bit. Um, get out there, make it more intense, eat better, sleep better, train, recover, repeat. This is Scott from Lapeer Fit Body Bootcamp. Have a good day. What is up guys, I'm Tim Strunk. I am here at Lapeer Fit Body Bootcamp here to tell you uh, two different ways to really get those booming arms with those triceps. Just a couple ways to really tighten up the back of the arm, kind of get rid of that lunch lady wave, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you something right now. This is called a diamond push-up. So you're gonna come down to the floor, you're gonna get your hands in this diamond position. You're gonna lean forward into the palms. Your hands should be right underneath your chest. Make sure you bring those toes up. Toes are flat on the floor. I'm gonna keep my chest up high. I'm gonna sink down into my palms Keep my elbows in tight, touch that floor, and then I'm gonna drive back up through those palms. Again, tightening up the back of the arm, so I don't want those wrists bending forward, I don't want those elbows coming forward. I wanna keep everything locked in, right below my chest, my hands stay in this diamond position, and I'm driving up through those palms, really engaging the back of that arm as I go up. All right, guys, this is the second tip I have regarding the back of those arms. Again, getting rid of those lunch lady arms, as people have called them in the past to me. You're gonna take a dumbbell up here. You're gonna throw it right behind that head. Now you're gonna make sure those fingers are laced so you keep that dumbbell nice and tight and secured on those palms. I'm gonna start with a full extension all the way up. My chest should stay out. I'm gonna dip those elbows back, keep my elbows at head level. I'm gonna drive up, squeezing the back of my arms as I extend up to a full extension. So again, all I'm bending at is those elbows. The elbows start to bend, I sway down, keep my palms on that dumbbell. I'm gonna rise up, squeezing the back of those arms every single time. So I don't want those arms swaying back and taking me with it. I'm gonna keep myself in a nice stern position, drop back into those palms, elbows in tight, driving up to a full extension. All right guys, those are just a couple tips that I have for you. Um, stay tuned for more details that we'll give you on some different muscle groups. Again, tightening up those booming arms, getting those triceps nice and flexing. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Coach Brian, and today I'm gonna give you three things you can do to stay focused on hitting your goals. So many times people come in and they start getting in shape, they start loving the lifestyle, and all of a sudden they lose focus, they get distracted. Maybe that's happened to you. Well, here are three things we give our fit body warriors to do to stay focused on what matters so they can achieve their goals. One, make less decisions during a day. You have to make fewer decisions every day. The more decisions you make, the more willpower it drains from you, and the more chance you have about being distracted at, by the end of the day making bad decisions. So I recommend making three to five personal rules that allow you to stay focused. So like one of my personal rules is I'm done eating by 8 p.m. every single day. So that would be a rule that I have. So that way I don't have to figure out, oh, should I have this snack or not? No, I'm done eating by 8 p.m. That's what it is. It's a rule. I don't have to make the decision, all right? So rule one, stop making decisions. Stop making as many decisions and make some rules. Number two, 
always have your strong reason why. Now we did another episode of Fit Body Warrior TV where we talked about this, but always have a defined mission, a defined goal, a defined reason why you are doing something. And make it a strong reason why, not just to lose fat, Put some emotion behind it. I wanna do this to set an example for my child so they can be healthy. That's more of an emotional reason why, all right? And when you have that reason why, when you get distracted and you feel like quitting, you remind yourself why you started to begin with and it helps you refocus, all right? So number two, be focused, okay? Finally, number three, the third thing we have our Fit Body Warriors do is honestly, as funny as it sounds, we have them say no to stuff first. When somebody asks you to do something or you feel like doing something, say no first. So you can stop for a second to think, does this line up with my priorities and goals? Does this get me closer to my why? If it doesn't, you should probably keep with the no. But if it does, you can always go back and say, you know what, I can do that now because it does line up with these priorities. Because so many times we just say yes to stuff and it starts taking us away from what's truly important in life, all right? So just to recap, one, make fewer decisions, put those rules in place. Two, have a strong reason why. Define that goal, define that mission. Three, get in the habit of just saying no first before you move on and actually do something. See if it lines up with your priorities and goals, all right? I hope that helps. We'll see you on the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fit Body Warrior TV. If you got a lot of value from it, or at least a few tips, be sure to subscribe or follow us to get more videos just like this delivered to you every week. If you wanna take it the next step and become a true Fit Body Warrior, be sure to click on the link in the description and try us out for three days totally free.